What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the X-Horse Dolphin key machine. What we're going to need for this job is a Allen key to loosen and tighten the probe and cutter, a pro, uh, paintbrush, high security Honda key, and your M1 clamp and key tool. So what we'll do is we'll go down here by the clamp. We're going to get this out of our way here. Just pull down, move it to the side. Now we got our probe on the left, cutter on the right. We're gonna go into our key tool menu. Go down to device information. You're gonna see the following calibration, height level, clamp, and cutting. We're gonna start with height level adjustment. I'll let you read those instructions here, but I'm going to show you what it's entailing. It's asking for the probe to sit higher than the cutter, and then to hit the start button down here. So we're going to take our Allen key and loosen our probe. We're going to push the probe up as much as we can and tighten it again. Just like the image. We're going to go ahead and hit start. Now make sure, I, I never put this message away because the clamp needs to be tight and fully secured in the right position. Uh, it's happened to me a lot where between my driving it just doesn't stay in the right spot and it refuses to calibrate. So the machine will do this. It's going to lock the cutter on the clamp. The probe is not touching the clamp. We'll hit OK. And it advises to loosen the probe for the probe to touch the clamp as well. And then hit continue. So we'll do that. You'll hear it drop. We're going to tighten it back up. Both probe and cutter are now touching the clamp. Let's hit continue on the key tool. Clamp is tight. It's going to check both ends. And if you did it right, it'll say height level adjustment complete with the check mark. And we're going to have to set our cutting diameter. That's a 1.5 cutter. So we'll hit 1.5 on the key tool. Set diameter. Success. Now what I'm going to do is cutting calibration and clamp calibration. We'll go ahead and do the M1 clamp. Now here's where our Honda keys come into play. These are the keys that they use to calibrate this machine. Put your blank up to the first line and then we'll hit start calibration. So here's our Honda key. Now the more I use this tool, the more I'm uh, pushing down at the tip of that key to uh, get it to stay secure while it's cutting. have a lot of keys tip upwards by not doing that, so just that's a tip. Now let's hit start calibration. Clamp is tight. I'll show you what the key machine's doing. All right, so calibrated okay. So let's go to cutting calibration now that the clamp is good. It's gonna advise that we should have done the height level adjustment first. We need a Honda blank in there and to clean the key with any key material and the cutter with the paintbrush. Hit start calibration. Our jaw is tight. Show you what the key machine's doing.
All right, cutting calibration first step complete. Please continue. Here's where the paintbrush comes into play. Clean up the clamp cutting spot. We'll go ahead and hit that with the brush real quick. Now I'm making this video because I felt like I ran into some confusion there with the probe height level adjustment at first. I'm hoping to help somebody out. Uh, but you'll definitely break some probes and cutters down the road, so it's good to know how to do this on the fly. I've had to do it on a job before. So we've got our my our area cleaned up. We're going to hit continue. Now, here's what the key machine's doing. All right, so cutting calibration complete. There we go guys. We did all three device calibrations. If you know how to do these three, you should be good to go. If you ever have to uh, change out the cutters probes or if it's the first time using the machine. Uh, hope this helps. Thank you guys.